Hey guys, so my Ascent Viper guide did really well, so I decided to make another, another guide, and this time on Bind. And I know a lot of lineups for this map, but I just decided to mostly focus on the ones that I use a lot and that I feel like are the best. So if you enjoy the video, make sure to like and subscribe. And if you want to follow me on Twitch, link is in the description. And if you want to join my Discord, if you have any questions or if you want to chat with me, that's also linked in the description. But now and enjoy the video. All right, so starting off with the wall on a short here, if you wall on top of the truck like this, it'll actually block off vision from heaven now with the new Viper buffs. Now that the wall is thicker, but it'll look like this and fully block off heaven. And then now that you don't have to ha have your smoke on heaven, you can use it for lineups here or put it in U-Haul to make retake harder because they're going to get a lot of decay swinging through this. Now this one's pretty inconsistent or just like pixel perfect where it's really hard to get but if you do get it it just makes a retake impossible for the enemy team because they're gonna have to swing through all the way here without any vision but if you do need to smoke heaven for whatever reason you can stand next to this box aim on this shade of the green on the leaf right here jump throw and that'll bounce off like this and smoke off heaven but you can also do a wall like this that gets u-haul and ct so people that want to swing from U-Haul here are going to get decayed. And people that swing from CT to try and retake are also going to get decayed. But if you want to go for a fast A showers take, you can do the wall like this. And you can do two smokes. I'll show you two different ones you can do. For the first one, you stand next to this box. Aim the HUD like this. Dump throw. And it'll land like this, where it adds decay for people trying to defuse. It blocks off this corner. And it also blocks off vision from heaven. So this one's good if you're just trying to get the bomb down quickly and go play post plants. But you can also smoke heaven from showers, go next to this rug, this corner, and aim just below the glare on the light, like so. And the only angles you're going to have to worry about with this smoke is right here and right here. And you can take care of those angles with the mollies that I'm about to show you. So stand on this box for the first one. Aim on this corner and align it with top of the light here. Like so. That'll molly off anyone hiding behind triple box. Then you can go on the fourth one here like this. One, two, three, four. Then go on this corner of it and align it with the metal. Like so. And that'll molly off anyone playing in this back corner. And if they're playing right here to dodge the molly, you're going to be able to see them. And it should be an easy kill. It's just really hard to clear this exact corner. So that mo molly should help you. So if I'm trying to use my ult to get on site quickly, one of my favorites is to use it on showers. So I'm going to use this wall with the heaven smoke and you can just swing out ult and get a good amount of site control. So you can plant the bomb and then just play showers post plant. And the reason why I use the smoke for heaven here is so if I want to swing out the smoke to take a fight outside the ult, I don't have to worry about having also another good ult to get you site control is on hookah here. If the enemy team doesn't smoke off Uga, then you can do your own smoke. And you can just ult out like this. Drop out. You can get a good amount of sight control here. Without having to really expose yourself too much. The last ult that I like to do is from long. And you can do a wall like this if you want. And this just helps get your ult out farther. You can do your smoke to cover elbow. You can get all the way out here. An ult like this to just get a really good amount of sight control with your ult like this and for my b smokes there's a lot of different options but i'll show you this cool one where you go in front of this box and align the hud on top of this line like so just left click and, and then it'll be a one way for ct like this but well, it's not the best one way you can only see a little corner but it is better than just smoking it normally in my opinion because they have to swing out all the way out here with no vision. And you can use the wall, something like this, just to cut off sight from elbow and garden. So you can drop out like this and just have to take the fights on sight. And then also for the people coming from garden, they're not going to have to worry about this side of sight taking fights. They can take the fights to the elbow guys and then take garden control. And if you're coming from long, you can use your wall like this to cut off elbow and then just lob a smoke for CT. It doesn't really have to be nothing special. And if you have sight control on B, a good ult would be on default right here. 
can actually get on top of the box. And if you swing out, you can see CT, get a weird angle on them. And then also just having this height advantage can really throw off enemies a lot. So on A here, this is where I usually play because Killjoys or, or Cyphers usually play on B. I'll show you my default setup for A and then I'll show you a few different ones that you can change up. And I'll do the wall so it covers short and showers like this. And I'll put my one way in U-Haul actually. You just kind of stand like to the left of this door. It doesn't have to be exact. And you stand and then you aim right in the middle of the bottom of this lamp. And that way you can have smokes on showers and short constantly. And if they're trying to take U-Haul control, they're going to have a one way on them. So it makes retake a lot easier if you can maintain U-Haul control. But if you want to get more aggressive with, with the one ways, you can stand in this corner and aim on the left of this blue line, like so. And that's a good one way for sure. And for this one way, I would only do it if you're gonna have a crossfire with one person standing like pretty much anywhere on this side and then one person in U-Haul. Because a lot of people do like to counter with this one way with jet dashing the U-Haul. So if you have a crossfire, then it just makes it really hard for them to push through because if the jet dashes through, the U-Haul guy can get him. But if you don't have someone watching U-Haul, I don't like doing this one way because they just jet dash over here and it's just a really good counter. And if you're struggling to hold showers and you can do a one way like this, or you just aim in this general direction of this square. And this is probably one of the best one ways in the game because they literally can't see anything. And really the only counterplay is just waiting out the smoke because it's just so hard to push through that. But if I can tell that they're gonna teleport the showers and I put my one way on showers even if I didn't have it there before just so that it makes it so that like if they're trying to TP and then take showers control it's just so hard for them to push out of this and it delays enough time for my teammates to rotate to A and help me out so there is a wall that you can do that goes through TP and it goes all the way over to the other side of the map I just don't like it that much because with this wall even though it covers short, they can get over to this corner and just have a nerdy lurk for you. And it's just not really the best smokes for the other side of the map, too. Because, like, it's sure it's hard to push through this, but they can kind of get nerdy over here. The only one that is helpful on the other side of the map is long, but I also don't like how they can just walk up long here without, like, your teammates knowing, really. But on pistol rounds, personally, I don't ever do one ways on pistol round. I would say even more now that the Viper buff makes it so they take so much damage going through the smokes. You can use your smoke more aggro to stop hard pushes. And I would say the most common hard push on pistol round is probably a short. So you can just place it there, then molly, and then with the classic, they're going to be one shot already if they swing through this. So it really just stops fast pushes. Also, another good place to put your smoke aggressively on pistol rounds is right here in hookah so if they want to swing through hookah here they're just going to take so much damage and if you molly it it's just going to be one shot with the classic then one last thing that i do on pistol rounds is you can put the smoke here and then hide in hell and you can just spray anyone coming out from hookah here and they're not going to really expect you they're just going to think oh it's a hookah smoke okay jump out and then you're just waiting for them and i'll show you some more stuff on defense that i do on b because you can get really nerdy on b here and I would say one of my favorites is doing the one way where you stand in this corner and aim in this corner like so. And you have to do this before the bi phase since it bounces off the bi phase barrier. And you do it like this. And so one way like this, like it's not the best one way, but I do like how you can get in this corner and be just unpredictable because they're not going to expect someone to hide through this. Or if they are expecting to, someone to hide through this, it's just really hard to counter someone playing on this corner of that smoke. And also, if you want, you can switch up the smoke and do it from the other side. And aim at this corner. Like this. And then for this one way, you have to be on top of the box here for it to be a one way. Now this one's a bit harder to get because you have to get the jump timing right. But once you get that one, you can play on top of this box here. And it's a full one way for people in hookah. Like they can see most of the site here, so just watch out. But it's a one way for... If you're on top of the box here and they can't see you at all i would only do that one way though if you have someone sitting in garden or if you have a cypher trip on garden here 
just to make sure that you don't get shot from garden from this angle and then for defense for the wall i usually do it like this or people coming through garden are gonna have to swing through this and they have no clue where you could be you could be in garden you could be on site you, you could be so many different angles that it's really hard to just swing through this with no vision and if you want you can actually grab the ultimate orb running with your knife and you'll have enough time before the wall i've never gotten killed by someone swinging through this so, i mean they could have time to swing through i just don't know because i've never gotten killed by it but i've probably done this a hundred times and i've never gotten killed but if you want to be safe you can do the wall like this maybe and you get the ultimate orb and this way you can creep up long here without having to worry about them swinging through whenever you can get a really nerdy angle on them like this but then if you want to just do a normal smoke for hookah you can put it on top of this diamond like this but, like it doesn't have to be specific but it's just you want to put it deep so that when they swing through they're not, not going to be able to drop in the smoke safely because if they swing i mean because if they jump through this they're going to just have no vision and it's really hard to jump through so my default setup on b is usually Put the smoke here do the wall like this and get the ultimate orb once the round end or once the round starts and then you can play from pretty much anywhere watching hookah make sure they don't drop and then also watching long or garden at the same time but also something that i forgot to say is if you're doing the one way for short or for showers you can actually use your wall to help out on smokes or b you can get hookah and long this but just keep in mind, it's not the perfect smokes because they can, you know, hide in this corner and stuff like that. But it is the best wall that I would say for B is just to help your teammates defend. All right, so since we just did defense, I'll start with defensive mollies. So if I'm playing on B and you know they're about to plant on A short default, you can align the corner of your HUD that I'm about to show you with this corner like this. And that'll land on a short default here and denying plant from anyone trying to plant on a short and if you know that they're taking a bit of time on the a short push and it's not really fast and you have enough time to molly this corner and you want to do it from b so this building you align the hud kind of on like 75 percent of the line of the building like this so not really in the middle not on the top kind of like in that general area and that'll land on a short denying anyone pushing from a short but it also makes it so anyone hiding behind this box is gonna have to push out and if you're in ct area maybe doing retake on a you can stand in front of these tubes and then align your hud on the bottom of this wider line on this corner like so and that will deny a short plant from ct then mollies for a short default on attack the easiest one is to stand in this corner and aim to the right of this pipe like this and it'll land on a short default like so and there's another one that i like to do in front of this box on this leaf there's a green dot like this and it's really the only green dot so it's pretty easy to see if you can find it and you align your hud on that dot like so and this molly is probably my favorite for a short where you stand on this corner of the box behind showers and then on this leaf right here you align the tip of your smoke orb on the bottom of the leaf like this so if you don't have enough time to go to your lineups in short you can tp go in front of this wood this white dot right here align your hud like so And then after you do that molly you can run all the way over here on this and then on this triangle right here the bottom you align your hud like so then that denies plant diffusal really early and you don't have to worry about going to your lineups here my favorite rotational lineups if you have time to get to this one I would do this molly and then I would go do this molly and then I would come out from showers here and get a surprise peek on them because they're not going to expect you to be coming from showers doing lineups if you plan it short they're probably going to expect you to be in a short and for showers there's really only two mollies that I use but I'll show you both of them so this one you stand behind this box 
And then on this group of leaves, there's an opening. And you just aim in the middle of that. Like so. And this is kind of the same how for the A short plant, I like to do the molly from showers because I don't expect it. You can do the molly for A showers from A short. You stand in this corner. And then on this kind of square, the darker part, you align your HUD like so. So on B default, I'll show you first the ones that I created in a custom myself. You stand in this corner and then on this group of white dots, you go on this one and align your HUD like so. And then for the smoke orb, you go in the same corner. And then this tip of this, you align it with this tip, like so, and then jump through. And that'll land like this on B default. And I like to use this if I wanted to lurk A, and I want to help out my team, and I don't have time to get on site, I can go over here and combine these. But if you're playing on B and you plan a default, and you don't have enough time to commit to long and do any of the mollies on long, you can stand in this corner and on this corner right here, you align the HUD like so. And that'll land on default here. And that's if you don't have enough time to commit to long and do lineups, or if you're just playing in garden here and you want to just stall diffuse without having to peek out and throw your molly on the bomb. So this is probably my favorite lineup for B. You stand in front of the fountain here. And then on this circle right here, you go on the bottom red part and align the HUD like so. And there's another lineup you can do behind this box. This one's a bit more complicated, but on this cloud, on the right part, you just go right here on the wood and just aim in this general area on the wood. So the last lineup that I use is to the right of this box. Crouch so you can't be seen from sight. And then this line right here, you align it with this line like so. My favorite rotational lineups is probably first the one in fountain and you go do the one behind the box here you can go in hookah and get an angle on them like this after you do your mollies 